take us through your show tonight? Yeah, um, I kind of said earlier, I was like super excited just on the 100 fly, just in this, at this meet in general because it's my like low pressure event. Um, I actually, just starting this summer, I started training the 100 fly once a week. Um, but before that, like, I don't even train fly at all. So it's definitely like show up, kind of have fun with it. Um, so I was super happy with my time this morning. I got it done, went at 57.99. So um, I was looking forward to the night because I'm the kind of person that does go faster at night normally. Um, and so, and I knew Gabby is like a great, she's been having a great meet. So I was like really excited to race her. Um, so in the funny thing actually is right before we got up on the blocks, I saw this B on Gabby's block and um, I was like, Dang, I'm really glad that's not on my vlog, and I was like thinking about the B, and um, whatever, that was kind of distracting, but um, then I had a pretty bad start per usual, um, but I just use my underwaters every time, and I didn't think I was going out very fast, but apparently I took it out like almost as fast as I went in my 50 fly at World Champ Trials, because um, I took it out at 26-1 in my time from trials was a 25.9 and if you factor in like my horrible turn uh, I probably would have taken it out faster um, so yeah I timed my turn pretty bad because I just couldn't really see the wall very well but I didn't really let that stop me and I just knew that like if I could bring it home like my race wasn't over yet so I just kicked out as best I could um, tried to just stay strong the rest of the way and hope to get my hands on the wall first and that's exactly what I did and it was hard but I did it and I'm really proud of myself. What's your thought process as you start to hurt the last 15 meters of a race like that? Um, honestly, just keep the rhythm going. Um, I definitely like, like to look towards my legs more and make sure that I'm getting like my arms out of the water well and my hips and everything um, and then just when you get to the flags, I just got to put my head down and hope that I can actually get to the wall. <laughs> Gets pretty hard. So far in this meet, just how, how do you feel about your performances and how has that, I don't know, affected the way you're looking at your swimming so far? Uh, yeah, I have been really happy that I'm finally like touching the times that I've gone in the past. Um, I mean, in my 100 free, like I haven't gone sub 54 in three years since um, 2019 World World Juniors um, and so that was like a huge win for me and like obviously I would have loved to go best time but I think it's just embracing like the baby steps and like the accomplishments that I've had this far this year so um, I was really proud of myself and I think that's like a huge step for the future for me just like getting back to where I was kind of like in my prime I guess um, and just knowing that I'm still capable of doing that and then hopefully like building upon that and getting better um, is definitely something that I'm excited for in the future um, and then in the 100 fly too like I was 1 100th off my best from last year and I mean there's so much I could have cleaned up in that race I think it, there's a lot to say for like what I have in store um, next year and the years coming so I'm really excited Generally, how do you feel about training and racing? Um, you know, it's it's kind of like an ebb and flow. I sometimes I hate it, sometimes I love it. Um, Hundred free long course used to be my favorite event of all time. Like, I would love like I would do it like six times at every meet because I'd be in all the relays and I'd swim it individually like three times. Um, and so I really grew to love it. And then when I started not really meeting my goals in that event and just struggling with it. It became my least favorite event. Um, and I'm finally learning to love it again. So um, I've really enjoyed training long course this summer. I think it's helped me so much just in terms of like practicing race strategies and like getting ready for meets like this. Um, something that I didn't really get to do throughout the year just with the NCAA season. So um, I think it's growing on me again. Yeah. Last question. We talked about this a little with Matt, uh, but what, how, what do you feel like you gained specifically from training with Todd in long course? Uh, yeah, I think, I mean, so much of what we do short course definitely like translates over to the long course pool. Like I have drastically improved my underwaters and I don't think I've like neglected that as I've come to the long course pool. 
Um, like Just like I said tonight, I really tried to use my underwaters on that turn to just bring me back into the race, um, which I've been working on a lot. Um, and I think something that we do is like hard free effort, um, and that has really helped me know how to take out my hundred free. Um, just like being aware of how fast I'm going um, and the effort that it takes to go the speed that I want to go. I think like learning that and going through that process with Todd has been super helpful. Thanks, Gretchen.